What's up all my friends on YouTube, specifically to all of these guys that were in my 2009 Leaf Rookies and Stars longevity break a while back, maybe a month ago. Guess what came in the mail today? A package from Panini. The letter that I sent was in receipt. The box that I sent back with a whole bunch of the base cards uh, some of the the doubles on the hits and my letter, my nice dear Panini letter, was received and um, we have been exchanging correspondence back and forth ever since. They went and closed the case on me with no further option to give one final opinion and they sent this package. So what I'm going to do is recap what they sent here and then tell you how we're going to close this whole thing. So I'm going to put the camera down for a second, show you what we got. Here is the box they sent, let me adjust this so I can see it, and here's what's in it. You can see they sent a pile of cards, but we'll get to this in a second. You got a Jason Witten, game used jersey, number to 299, there's a Joe Flacco, Number to 190. Uh, here's a Dante Culpepper. Number to 100. Get a freshman fabric, Hakeem Nix. Number to 100. Just keeps getting better. Uh, holy Christ. Aaron Curry, Aaron Curry for the Seahawks. Number to 100. Oh, sweet. We're blessed with a Tyrell Sutton running back uh, autograph. I think he was cut. 22 of 50. And uh, a Nate Davis. These are both out of threads, actually, it looks like. A Nate Davis autograph from Ball State, number 34 of 50. So what we got is a hodgepodge of shit that they sent. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, which matches what they uh, said on my Donruss account. So we've got seven cards. In addition to this, as you can see here, there are six boxes, and in each box I was able to put together a full base set of 100 of the base cards from the Longevity. So seven cards and six boxes makes 13 items that I will go ahead and do a random back to this group and each person that wins will be taken out of the next random. So in other words, 13 different opportunities or different people will win something back. It's the best I can do. I'll take you over here now and show you. Here's the Panini response. As you can see, there's all the cards right there they said they were going to send, so you don't think I pulled anything out. And down here was my last response to them when they said they were going to send two autograph cards. Here it is. We will send you, uh, let's see, due to the lack of autograph cards and our longevity extras, we are sending you two autograph cards from the 2009 Threads product. Thank you for your understanding and have a great day. That is an absolutely inadequate solution to this. Some of you know what I do for a living and let me just say this. Taking care of customers is instrumental to the success of my business and my brand. And if I had a letter come into me like the one I sent to them for quality assurance, I certainly would have responded with more than that, given who they are dealing with. Um, you know, I've got almost 700 subs. Thundering24 was in this break. He's got 1,500 subs. Uh, Jason, Denny, I mean, the amount of subscribers and the effect we can have on the community is far-reaching. So here's my last reply. That hardly seems like an equitable solution given the letter I sent you outlining all of the issues our group had with the case. Not to mention the lack of first round rookies when your product has frickin' Matthew Stafford on the cover! Poor collation, numerous, numerous duplicates within the inserts and autos and jerseys, and five boxes shorted of hits. We were expecting to receive a couple of replacement boxes as a gesture of quality assurance and good customer service. I'm afraid this resolution will continue to spread ill will and negative commentary around the YouTube hobby community regarding how far your product lines have fallen since the Panini transaction. We are disappointed to say the least. So back to this. 
it's all over. This is done, guys. This is the best we can get from them. And I'm going to continue to say after this, freaking Panini for the loss. Uh, I'm going to focus my efforts, I guess, here in at least the near future until I see otherwise on other brands or at the very least on other sub-brands within Panini. So that's what we got. I will uh, either do this coming up one night on Blog TV here soon or else I will just add this to the night. I'm going to do the Upper Deck SP Threads uh, case break coming up in a couple weeks. Either way, it will be taken care of. And I will send these out to 13 different winners to give something back uh, and wrap up this crappy experience with uh, the longevity break. Anyways, just wanted to give everybody the update. And I'll leave you by saying, salute.